troubleshooting some K3S and Rancher issues that come up. Um, if you're getting kind of the spinning wheel of death uh, when you try and visit your dashboard and then your first go-to is to go do cube is to go uh, cube control get node uh, you might see this error about uh, connection reset by peer previous attempt yada yada um, usually that's what I found is that's a, that's your database has issues and you know we're kind of battle testing the Raspberry Pi as a MariaDB data store for our K3S cluster and um, you know not sure it's I do know that it's it's down right now so uh, another error you might see is uh, you're getting a hint there what the uh, fix is gonna be um, let me just clear that and just run it right here. You might also see the connection to the server was refused and you already know that uh, and that's that's locally on the master so it should be able to find it. So what's the problem is what I found out is and this is this can happen on, on your home network if you haven't set up static IP addresses which the easiest way to go is DHCP, uh, is that our data store endpoint has changed. So, you know, we're using in the previous, you know, tutorial video, you know, 133 as our database endpoint and it has changed to 130. And I had to, you know, of course, Thankfully, I still keep my Pi plugged in uh, to a monitor. I don't want to. Um, and I, I think, I don't know if Pi hole would get me that or what. Um, so we'll try to SSH into uh, into that. And uh, it's not going to do anything. In fact, I, I know that the, it's actually desktop for that. So, you know, these are all warning signs and red flags that something's your database is down. So, I don't know if there's some other way. There's probably that. There's probably that journal, system journal. I'll try and leave that in the docs. Uh, that you could run. In fact, let me just see if I've got it available. Um, would have been. Journal. Okay, let's just see if that would have told us the error. So we'll run that on our master. Did you? Wait, dial, no route, creating, so right there, it would have told us. Preparing server, creating store, and I, I had rebooted both my masters as a first step, so that's worth mentioning. Um, you know, creating storage endpoint, building kind, data, TCP, uh, failed right there. So good. So now we know how to how to actually get the error, so that's useful. Um, and now we'll hopefully fix it. I'm, I'm trying to do these fixes live. I know it maybe isn't the most entertaining. So I booted up my Raspberry Pi on another screen. Uh, it's still plugged in the screen and I did uh, IP space AD for finding IP address. I think you just do that here. So I just ran that on the Pi. I found out it's the database has changed to 130. So got a new fingerprint, just 
expected. So this is one of the pitfalls of running it on DHCP. We had a we lost our internet the other day and it had to reboot uh, our router. And uh, so, anyways, so we know. Oh, oh yeah, you can just come in here and make sure you're. I mean, you know if that IP address has changed, what the problem is, but you can make sure it's still running, which it is. So what we want to do is run. So right there, from what I found, we just need to update that. So it's sudo cat, etc. System D system K three S K three S dot service dot env for environment, and we'll do sudo nano that string and I think I should just be able to hit zero and I don't know if I'm gonna need to reboot um, let's copy that and we'll go to our master 2 which is 110 Actually, I'm off the screen here. Uh, let me. So, ugh. looks like I haven't set up a password over here yet. Oh no, there it is. Okay, so thirty. Change that to thirty. Overwrite. Did something just space out weird? It looked like it spaced out weird. Hopefully, hopefully we're fine. I'll probably see in the video what that was. So I don't know if I have to reboot the nodes. Um, I guess we can come back to this and just do cube control get nodes to see if they're up. So I suppose here this would be why it would be good to be behind a load balancer. Wait, okay, cool. I was fooling around with my picture down here. It's not what you're wanting to see. All right, so we're up. So that's how you fix that error. So we probably just need to refresh this and then we're back in. The default user's username is admin um, on Rancher. Uh, so anyways, that's it for today's uh, 100 day of home lab. See you next time. Stop.